in the middleweight division at UFC 301. You got Mikel Pereira. A lot of experience coming in at 30 and 11. He's Brazilian taking on Ihor Poteria, who comes in at 21 and 5. So two guys really with a lot of experience in the octagon. Ihor, two-inch height advantage at 6'3". He's 27. Pereira, 30. So they're close in age, and they're both in that prime window. Ihor, two-inch reach advantage, 75 to 73. He fights left-handed. Uh, Pereira fights right-handed. Now, both guys are very active, almost even. 5.2 significant strikes per minute. So could it come down uh, to the takedown game, which would favor Pereira? Ihor hasn't landed any. Pereira gets one every other round. He's also got a 94% takedown defense. So he's not getting taken down in this one. He's won a lot of fights in the UFC. Hasn't lost since February of 2020, running off seven straight victories. Most recently, a sub against McCall. Alexi Chuck, he also beat Andre Petrosky by KO. So he's doing the darn thing, right? Now, Duelist, a.k.a. Ehor, 57% takedown defense. Not great. All right, he lost to, uh, he beat Robert Brzech by decision. He better. Lost to Rodolfo Bellato by KO and Carlos Olberg by KO. And that's kind of all I need to see, right? Ihor has a, a great record, but struggling in the UFC. Mikel Pereira uh, is, is just on a tremendous win streak right now. He's right in the middle of his prime at 30 years old. I like Mikel Pereira to win this fight. Whether it stays on the feet uh, or not, will most likely go to the ground, which favors Pereira, the Brazilian. He's going to get the win here, uh, likely by decision. Ihor is too good to give up a finish, although he's given up some finishes lately. I still think he gets to a decision, loses that way. In my opinion, middleweight division, UFC 301.